The biggest infrastructure project in Germany has begun. Costing an estimated 6.5 billion euros, Stuttgart Einenswanzig will create a whole new train system, mainly underground for the city. Stuttgart 21. What does that mean? Basically it means a through station which has a higher capacity due to the fact that trains can drive in and out quicker. In this station no train has to turn, no train has to wait for long, it can just pass through. Connected with this station is a partly underground ring route which connects all train connections from Stuttgart. And the third highlight of the project is the linkage of the airport to the inner city, and here we are creating a European record. With Stuttgart 21, you'll be able to travel directly from the city to the airport in eight minutes. Currently the trains run overground and the station is aging. Plus it was built for steam locomotives rather than high-speed trains. The development of Stuttgart Einenswanzig is expected to be complete by 2021. Our building project cuts through the city of Stuttgart, which lies in a narrow basin at its tightest point. Through this narrow valley pass many main roads, federal highways, long distance and supply lines. Constructions beginning in the main train station, the terminal will be totally rebuilt to transform it into a through station with a 900 metre long through structure requiring extra strength in the foundations. This part of the project alone will use approximately 300,000 cubic metres of concrete and require 1 million cubic metres of earth excavation. Needless to say, such a big project comes with significant challenges. We specified a high strength concrete with a white pigment. We have component strength, especially in the middle part of the column of up to 2 metres. This can leave the concrete vulnerable to quite a high risk of cracking, which is of course totally undesirable. That's why we're working with the concrete technologists to produce the best possible concrete mix design, which requires a low water content. Due to the topography of the region, 60 kilometers of new tunnels are necessary. These will be created using a tunnel boring machine, which is able to dig the tunnel and secure it at the same time. This kind of machine was also used during the building of Hautrain. Specifically for the concrete of the columns, we did a lot of lab tests which were focused on finding the correct pigment of white colour. In the end, we produced about 50 different sample plates with different concrete compositions. Look at the complexity of a shape like this. It has a diameter of 32 metres and is about 14 metres high. The difficult thing with the shape is the dimensional accuracy of the shutter when installing. We need to build a solid scaffold in which the formwork of the shuttering can stand. The second difficulty is the layout of the reinforcement inside. We have three-dimensionally bent reinforced bars which will be intertwined in a complex way. Therefore the rebar has to be mountable and then it has to be able to accommodate all of the ready-mixed concrete which will be poured in. We want the best quality surface, and there will be up to 16 layers of rebar on top of each other in a grid with a diameter of 28 meters for each supporting column, all 10 of them. It's a real logistic and planning effort to ensure it's a success. It will be a huge project that will go through 40 to 50,000 processes before it's complete. But there has been a lot of controversy around Stuttgart Einenswanzig by local people who say that such a project isn't necessary and is too expensive. The developers disagree and say it will bring huge benefit to the city. Different assessments and a so-called stress test revealed that we will achieve 30% more capacity with this new station. And additionally, we'll manage to free up rails here in the middle of the city in a magnitude of about 100 hectares, which are at the moment occupied with tracks and old railway operating facilities. A third of the inner city of Stuttgart is covered with tracks and therefore cannot be used for urban building. Ultimately, the argument is that as cities such as Stuttgart become better connected, so development will continue to increase. It was recognised that this is one of the strongest economic hubs in Europe and that here in the industrial and their car region, with companies such as Bosch, Daimler and Porsche, it will gain importance with regards to population 
but will also type additional industries which will settle in the area. Research and development will increase. This will definitely be reflected in the construction sector as well. This infrastructure development is not just for today, but is preparing the city for the future. With relatively little use of energy, you can transport a lot of people quite fast over long distances. This advantage will, in the future, boost the train as a transport of choice in a sustainable manner. That's why we don't see any crisis. That's why we want to invest now in order to be well positioned in 20 to 30 years from now.